The source of my passion for permaculture is kind of rooted in stewardship for the earth. I was really into the environment as a kid, all that kind of stuff, and I had a, a, a realization, an epiphany, if you will, about the effectiveness of the kinds of work that I was doing to protect the environment. You know, sending my, sending my annual membership dues to the environmental organization or writing, my, writing to my congressman or, or all of those things seemed like a real problem, like they weren't doing anything. It was time spent and nothing happened. And so I, I became somewhat obsessed with effectiveness and started to analyze things. And I was like, well, is what I'm doing right now really just assuaging my guilt or is what I'm doing now really making meaningful change? I started analyzing all the things that I was looking at and considering doing in my life on the papaya standard. So that was, would the world be a better place if I did this thing that I'm thinking about doing or if I spent an equivalent amount of time planting papayas. And what I was finding was I felt like a lot of the things were losing to the papaya standard. I would be a better benefit to planet Earth if I just planted papayas or, you know, filling papayas with avocados or jackfruits or apple trees or whatever it is, right? That concept of effectiveness really got ground into me. And I started to learn about permaculture and understand what's going on with permaculture. And what I found was I felt like a much higher rate of effectiveness, of actual making change. The idea that you don't have to wait for someone to tell you you can make change, you can just do it. That's how the passion for permaculture came along, was seeing people who weren't writing their congressmen and weren't waiting for their congressmen to pass a bill to say we're gonna do something about reforestation. They just sorted out land access and started planting trees themselves. We don't need to wait for someone to tell us that we can do good things.